it is time for us to adopt a new company brand to encompass everything that we do. To reflect who we are and what we hope to build, I am proud to announce that starting today, our company is now Hello, children. Well, I think most people in the community have caught up with the scandal going on in War of the Visions at the moment. If you are still in the dark, I suggest checking out the video I made yesterday. Ha 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 ha. Well then, there are people who have become the Scrooge McDucks of this game pretty much overnight, and the community is clamoring for Gumi to fix this situation. At the time of making this video, there hasn't been any official word from the developers, besides them mentioning that they are looking into the offer wall situation, and that some description error has been fixed. This has led to quite a bit of fear mongering, with plenty of people claiming that the game is either dying, or already dead. Some, even, have already started looking for a new game to play, apparently. Personally, I don't think this scandal could kill the game. As long as the situation is handled properly and efficiently, then things should be back to normal, pretty quickly. But let's talk, for a moment, about the possible options which, Gumi, have at their disposal. The community have put forward potential solutions, as well, so let's take a look and see what their suggestions are, and if they are viable. Solution number one. It is understandable, that quite a few people feel angered by this situation, especially because they think there's a chance that the Visi or bandits might get away with everything. So much so that, people feel, that the bandits should just be banned. To be fair, the majority of the people I've seen so far, seem to disagree with this. Kumi, as well, don't exactly have a great track record when it comes to banning anyone, even cheaters. We have a few past examples to use as context, after all. The players who took advantage of the offer wall didn't hack the game, or anything like that. The mistake lies with the people in charge of the offer wall. You can't ban players for that, I would say. So what else can be done, then? Yeah. It's rewind time. A very popular suggestion is to do what is called, a rollback. Basically, return things to the way they were before the offer wall shenanigans happened. This means, that players would lose progress, but the problem is eliminated in the process. The problem with this, however, is that Gumi seem to have other ideas. If they wanted to take this approach, they should have taken the game into emergency maintenance as soon as possible, so people lose as little progress as possible. Considering it's already been over a day, it doesn't seem likely we will see a complete rollback. If it is doable, then they might just do the rollbacks on the accounts of individuals who got the offer wall rewards. That might be quite an effective way to handle things, in case said players had already used the offer wall visior to stock up on materials, such as mog medals. But if a rollback is not possible, then something on a smaller scale, perhaps? Uh, what? It's gone, it's all gone. Poof. One thing pretty much everyone agrees on, is that the players who got the offer wall deals, absolutely must not be allowed to keep it. Them getting potentially millions of Visior for free, just isn't fair to anyone. It devalues the perceived value of Visior for everyone, and it makes it very unlikely that people would think about spending money on the game again. This would be terrible for Gumi, obviously, as we all know how much corporations love money. But considering it's already been a day, what if the players have spent a significant chunk of their newly gotten Visior already? Should their Visior go in the negative? I am not sure if Gumi would do that. So where do I stand regarding all this? Well I definitely agree that the offer wall Visior should not be allowed to stay. Ideally, if the accounts of affected players can be rolled back, that would be the way to go. No one should be banned for this situation. 
the players cannot be held responsible for a screw up which they had nothing to do with. Kumi needs to make things right, and there should be compensation. I do hope that they address the situation sooner, rather than later, but as long as they find the right solution, then things might work out. In the meantime, I would ask everyone to try and stay calm, for the moment. Do not do anything reckless, like review bombing the game. Let's give Gumi the time, and opportunity, to make things right. The pitchforks will still be there, if Gumi doesn't do that, right? We, as a community, need to stick together. I am sure we'll come through all this. While we are all waiting for Gumi's response, how about a conspiracy theory? What if Tapjoy, the company behind the offer wall, did this on purpose? He he he, now that, would be interesting. Maybe Tapjoy, is the real enemy. Well that's all I have for you for the moment, children. Have a good day, better days are coming, so let's wait for them, and may the light of the crystals guide you.